Do you have sort of like a schedule of imaging with either conventional imaging or PSMA PET scanning that you do even though the PSA is in a satisfactory level? In years past, my management of prostate cancer was very PSA heavy and dependent. Uh, conventional imaging, CT scan, even PET scan in the past wasn't helpful in the management of these uh, patients, even in advanced disease. By the time we saw distant disease in a uh, conventional imaging, that patient was pretty uh, far progressed. Uh, with the advent and the use of these more advanced imaging techniques, particularly the PSMA PET scanning, we've realized that we can see this disease much earlier in the process. So in years past, if the PSA was undetectable, I would not get testing. Yeah. Uh, but we've realized over time that sometimes we can actually see disease progression and also worsening of metastatic disease even with the undetectable PSA. Yeah. And the concerning part is that the, these cancers tend to be much more aggressive. Yeah. They're more anaplastic. They're so anaplastic, they're not even making right. PSA. They're so different than normal prostate cancer, they tend to be even more aggressive. And it kind of is a corollary to the digital rectal exam. A lot of people say, oh, if the PSA is not elevated, don't worry about a yeah. digital rectal right. exam. But it's still an important test because it helps us find certain prostate cancers that are not PSA dependent or showing a PSA rise. In the same setting, I tend to get a PSMA PET scan about once a year. Yeah. If the PSA is undetectable, the patient's doing well. If they have new symptomatology of bone pain or other issues, I may get a uh, scan for cause. Yeah. I have pretty much gotten away from conventional imaging. I find that the PSMA uh, testing and PET scanning has gotten so much better at finding distant disease. Yeah. I find it just more radiation to the patient that is unnecessary.